it going? Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about OpenVPN. So in the previous episode about VPNs, we showed you how to set up your own VPN server on DigitalOcean. Now you can use that same DigitalOcean instance with multiple devices. And in the previous episode, we showed you how to set it up on your desktop, uh, more specifically on your Mac, but I mean, instructions on Windows is pretty much the same. So uh, we showed you using the Viscosity client and the TunnelBlick client. Um, in this episode, we're going to be talking about your iOS devices. You can also set it up on your Android device, but maybe we're going to cover that in a different episode. So OpenVPN has a client on the App Store. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to download that, how to you know, get it all set up uh, using uh, you know, your existing DigitalOcean instance. Now, the first thing we need to do is generate a new client uh, key file. Um, one client key file that we generate can be only used with one client at one time. So if you want to have multiple clients connecting to the same instance, DigitalOcean instance, your VPN server essentially, at one time, then you're going to need to generate multiple keys for that. So here I'm going to uh, SSH into my uh, DigitalOcean server. So I'm going to type it in like that. All right, now I'm in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the, ins the instru uh, setup file that I used from before, from the previous episode, into this command line. And what it's going to allow me to do is it detects that OpenVPN is already set up on this machine. So it's going to allow me um, you know, to create a new certificate. And so I'm going to choose option one over here. And I'm going to call it um, iPad. Uh, SF. So SF being this node is uh, in San Francisco. So I know um, that, okay, I'm going to also add my name. So Zach iPad San Francisco. Hit enter. So it's going to generate that file for me. And uh, so if I do uh, ls, I'm going to see the file. So I also have the zach.ovpn, the one that I'm actually using on my desktop. So you see you have to generate multiple uh, certificate files. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit from my DigitalOcean instance. I'm going to copy this OVPN config file and put it on the desktop. And then we're going to switch over onto the iPad to see how to set it up over there. So I'm going to exit from here. And then what I'm going to do is SCP. So this is all uh, very much just like the previous episode. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you check that out first. And so I'm just going to do Zach. I misspelled that. And I'm going to put this in the desktop. All right, so now we have that. Uh, we have the actual um, file on our desktop. So we can check that out over here. So if I minimize that and minimize this guy as well and close this out. Here we have the OVPN file. Now. I'm going to switch over into the iPad and then show you guys how you can set this up on your iPad. So the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, we're going to need to email the file to ourselves. Uh, so we need to access this file basically on our iPad. So the easiest thing for us to do is to just email it to yourself. You can also plug the cable in, um, but that requires you to use iTunes. Uh, in this case, I prefer to just mail it to myself. I think that's going to be convenient for most people. So I'm going to compose a new mail here. Uh, I don't think I need to show you guys how to compose an email. All right, so now we're on the iPad. And as you can see, it's giving me the notification that I've emailed myself successfully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check that email. And uh, essentially what I'm going to do is say, click on that file. So I'm going to open it. So I'm going to hit open over here and copy to OpenVPN. Now, if you don't have OpenVPN on your computer, before I do that, let's go over to here. Um, it should be pretty easy. Uh, so if I head over to the App Store and I do a search for OpenVPN, it should show up and I don't think I need to show you guys how to install an app on the App Store. Once you install that, um, you'll be able to open that email attachment that you just sent yourself on the iPad. And so I'm going to click that, hit open again. And then I'm going to hit over here, 
copy to OpenVPN. And then here, it's going to detect a new profile right away. So what I can do is I can click the plus, and then uh, you will see that now uh, it's now using the new profile that I have. So now I have two profiles on this machine here on my iPad. Uh, one is the one in Singapore and one is the one in SF. So what I can do is con I can connect. So I can connect to the new client successfully. There you go. The new server, so sorry, successfully. And now if I go over to YouTube, so YouTube Red is only available in the US. So what I can do now is I can go over to my YouTube and it will detect the app. And you can see that it says YouTube Red on my YouTube screen. And that's because I'm accessing YouTube from the US using this OpenVPN uh, configuration. Now you don't have to connect from the OpenVPN client every time. Uh, what you can do is as also you can check the settings page and then uh, under VPN, you can see I have two profiles on my screen here and you can always disconnect and choose to connect to another one. And so if you have multiple servers in different locations set up, you can connect to different locations just by selecting different profiles from the screen over here. All right, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys found that useful. Don't forget to like and share this video if you like our VPN series videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.